Ladies and gents, we're going to be talking about the Emily banner and 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 the yellow one. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Anytime now. Okay, there we go. Um, go to the events tab and we can Ambrosial Essence as well as the Cerner of Enigmas. Um, first things first, the banner looks. This is a great looking banner. I think this is her splash art, or what's going to look like her splash art. I feel like they did a good job with it. And we've got the banner character. We can talk about him a little bit. Um, sub DPS, Andro, Polarm, good with Pyro. That's that's all we need to say. Okay, that's all we need to say. I've covered so many videos on Emily, but let's talk about the other characters. I see Razor in there. I don't think I've seen Razor on a banner in a really long time. So welcome back to the banner. We've got Xiang Ling. Um, excellent choice. I'm assuming they want to do a little bit of synergy with Emily. So they have two pyro characters here, Xiang Ling, as well as Yanfei. Both characters are actually pretty good and I will be talking about them both. And here we go, Yelan banner, obviously same four stars. And of course, Yelan being Yelan, we're gonna talk about Yelan too. And we've got the weapon banner. This is quite the interesting banner. Before we get into the five stars, let's go to the four stars here. First thing I see is this weapon right here. I'm not sure if this weapon is that one, but this is the Claymore version of the Zephos Moonlight. It's, yeah, I mean, if, if I could get my hands on that, it is the Claymore. Okay, if I can get my hands on that, it will be beautiful. But Aqua Simulacra, obviously a very nice weapon. Great for the likes of Yelon, but also good for other characters like maybe Tartaglia. Could make good use of it and other characters that might need some crit. That's pretty much it. And then we've got the Lumidos Elegy. Since it does have some pretty decent stats, um, it's it's a just a generally good polearm to get. It has an increase of attack by, I don't know, a certain percentage, and you get crit rate on it, which is amazing. But also there is that factor in which when you do burning, um, or when you deal uh, Dendro 2, opponents that are burning you'll also get an increase in damage which is pretty nice and also when you have uh, two stacks it increases so that's pretty cool and you can get some energy this way as well so that is pretty nice uh, because you can even use this when off field which is really really good um, so yeah, I think generally it's going to be a good weapon, even though it's the it's not the coolest looking weapon of all time. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to do that. Oculus Malacra, good weapon. All right, that is the weapon banner and the uh, character banners. Let's talk about the characters themselves. You guys already know the drill, okay? A lot of these characters are actually pretty good. Xiangling being one of the best characters in the game, being free and just has access to so much stuff that makes her strong, strong, strong. And with more constellation, she gets even better. So yeah, I definitely recommend this character. Build this character if you want your account to pretty much clear uh, anything in its path. Mine isn't even that built. I have two more levels to put on Pyronado and I have so many more levels to put on Global Attack that she still does too much damage, actually. Um, but yeah, um, even with the mediocre stats uh, like these. So that, that should tell you a little bit of something. Okay, if I can find my Yenfei here. I personally didn't build Yenfei on this account, but I have built Yenfei on my free-to-play account, and I use her as a shielder. Why shielder? Because her C4 actually gives you a shield. So getting constellations on this character is actually pretty massive. Um, otherwise, if you want to use her as an actual character, charge attack is your best friend. So you're going to have to you know, level up your normal attacks and do some charge attack damage. And if you get Emily, she's going to have a perfect WPS. So you can do a little bit of burning and then get some extra damage as well. Um, and then we've got the likes of Razor. Um, I do have him uh, leveled up, but not exactly built, right? Um, his sounds being at 4444. Four, four, four. Um, yeah, he's just an outdated character. I feel like there's just so many better alternatives, especially since he is a physical damage dealer, even though he can do some electro here and there. Um, yeah, definitely outdated at the moment. I can imagine a world where they do 
sort of buff him by giving him a better set in the future something like that uh, especially for the likes of any physical character <coughs> eula but yeah for now these are the characters and well i think the character banner overall is okay but if you're trying to get like a whole package it's actually pretty good because emily is going to work well with the enfei it's going to work well with xiang ling all in one team by the way so that's going to be a pretty nice pickup i say that's pretty good there but let's say you're going for the yelon banner yelon excellent character has excellent constellations so if you're going for constellation that's a great idea because it, in this weapon banner you also get our character banner jiangling works well with yelon so you don't have to worry too much there and you have yanfei which does work well with yelon kind of even though your charge is attacking a lot um but yeah um just generally both banners are pretty good when you take them as a whole but individually not the greatest banner of all time but a good one if you take it as a whole so if you're a new type of player you are actually in luck because emily goes well with the characters so yeah i mean even razor even razor if you want to use razor as your main character he's going to be pretty okay with emily because since he does physical damage mostly he's going to be just there and Emily and Shiagling can do the burning, can do the damage, can do the whatever. And then you have Yanfei as a shield. You can do that! Theoretic theoretically, you can do all of that. And you'd be pretty chilling. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, Razor is still kind of outdated. But yeah. That's that's all I wanted to say. Uh, that I'll leave it here for now. I don't have much else. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about the banners. I think my conclusion is that banners are pretty okay. Pretty good, actually, I should say, for newer players. But for some veterans, um, we already have some of these characters, most of these characters. Um, so it's not the best banner of all time. But if you're going for Yelan Constellations or if you're going for Emily, it is what it is, right?